We all feel the power of music. It's easy to get lost in the emotion of a song that it can present. A Danville man is using that power to help people around the world while aiding his own healing process. LEX 18's Evan Leak joins us in studio to share the song in Mike Rogers' heart. Yeah, most of Mike's life has included some form of music, typically a piano. Songs following him all over the world, ones that he is now sharing with the globe on social media. It's helping people everywhere heal, including himself. Music is a universal language, one Mike Rogers is fluent in. The best part of it is when I can sit down and melodies will come through my hands. It's a real gift. It's, it's not simply something that you learn. It's something that learns you, learns, helps you understand. Mike's journey to understand music began when he was six. Now at 73, safe to say, he's figured a few things out. It's it proved to be one of the most valuable things I've ever had. I've always loved listening to my dad play the piano. My brother and I, we've heard these songs our whole life. He's played for us throughout our whole life. But this passion was often just background noise for Mike. His life composing a different path. So I went to Vietnam. I spent right about 13 months overseas. After I got out, I really got close to God. I went to seminary in Louisville and uh, pastored a little church out in Henry County in a town called Bethlehem, which is an incredible experience. Mike could probably write a symphony on his life experience, including many times where his song could have been cut short. Heart issues like you just mentioned. You've had cancer three times. Mm -hmm. How are you still here? I don't know. Probably shouldn't be. I'm sorry. My wife and I, we always thought I was going to go. And that's one thing Mike doesn't understand. His wife, Debbie, passed away in July. A high school love song that rang into 52 years of marriage, now silent, leaving Mike with a lot of pain and his piano. She's one of those, I call them saints, if you want to call them that, going, God knows, to all sides of the world with me and, and going through difficult times. It's not been easy for her. And nobody knows what she's been through. People are starting to know. Mike's family encouraged him to get on TikTok, sharing his talent and his love for Debbie. Millions of views in a few short weeks. I think it's insane how fast it's grown because it's amazing to see that his music that we've taken for granted all these years has really connected with people all over the world. If the songs that I write now or had written when we were young or whatever, if in any way God can use that or people can be touched by it, that's, that's good. The song in Mike's heart being heard worldwide, helping him and so many others heal. I wish mom was here to see all this happening. Like she would be amazed. Um, she'd be amazed. In Danville, Evan Leak, LEX 18 News. Mike has gotten a lot of messages and comments, either requesting to learn his songs, have him post tutorial videos, or simply thank him for his music, sharing their stories of pain and heartbreak that Mike and Debbie have both helped make a little bit better.